NFTs were once everywhere in the news. People were buying digital art for millions of dollars, celebrities were launching collections and the hype seemed unstoppable. But what exactly are NFTs and in 2025 are they still relevant? In this video I'll explain NFTs in simple terms, how they work and whether they still matter today. NFT stands for non-fungible token. That sounds complicated, but let's break it down. Fungible means interchangeable. For example, one dollar is the same as any other dollar and one bitcoin is the same as any other bitcoin. Non-fungible means unique. An NFT is a digital asset that is one of a kind and can be replaced with something else. So what makes NFT special? They are built on blockchains like Ethereum or Solana. Each NFT has a unique code that proves ownership and authenticity. Think of it like a digital certificate. If you own an NFT, the blockchain shows that you are the verified owner even if anyone else can see or copy the image itself. The proof of ownership is what gives NFTs their value. Most people first heard about NFTs in the form of digital art like the famous Beeple artwork that sold for $69 million. But NFTs aren't just about pictures or collectibles. They can represent all kinds of digital and even physical assets. For example, NFTs can be used for music, gaming items, virtual real estate or even event tickets. In games, owning an NFT could mean you actually own that rare sword or skin and you can trade it outside the game. So, are NFTs still relevant in 2025? The hype around overpriced JPEGs has definitely cooled down. Many projects that launched at the peak of the craze have lost most of their value. But underneath the speculation, the technology is still very powerful. NFTs are finding real use cases in areas like ticketing, where they prevent counterfeits, or in supply chains, where they track the history of products, even luxury brands are using NFTs to prove authenticity of fashion and watches. Another area where NFTs remain strong is gaming. Players love the idea of actually owning their in-game items and being able to sell them on open markets. This makes games more than just entertainment, it turns them into economy. Music and entertainment are also exploring NFTs, with artists giving fans unique experiences, collectibles or access to special content. That said, NFTs still face challenges. Many people see them as risky or pointless because of the hype and scams that surrounded them. Prices can be extremely volatile and not every NFT has real utility. Regulations and copyright issues are also still being worked out. For NFTs to truly succeed, they need to focus less on speculation and more on solving real problems. But the potential is clear. Imagine a future where your car title, your house deed, or even your college diploma is an NFT verifiable on the blockchain, impossible to fake and easy to transfer. That's where the technology could be heading even if the hype cycle looks very different from the early days. To put it simply, NFTs are digital assets that prove ownership of something unique. They started with art and collectibles, but their real value lies in practical use cases like gaming, ticketing and authentication. Are they still relevant? Yes, but not because of million dollar JPEGs. They're relevant because the technology behind them continues to unlock new possibilities. And that's NFTs explained in 5 minutes. If you found this helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more simple crypto guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.